Hi, my name's Shawful and welcome to another one of my videos where I talk about the world of data. I thought I'd do something different today, right? So when I used to be a lecturer uh, or I used to teach people, I used to always used to like analogies. I used to get examples so that people um, found it easier to learn concepts and stuff. So what I want to do today was explain how data analysis works through cooking, okay? So um, now you might be asked a question by the business and says things like, oh, can you tell us how the winter range performed over Christmas, okay? Um, so that's like getting a business question. So my question in the cooking space has been, um, make a meal for the kids, okay? So I've been tasked with making a meal for the kids. Now, in your business question where they've asked you for um, understanding how the winter range performed um, over Christmas, what you want to do is get clarification. You want to know, okay, do we already have an existing uh, business definition of what Christmas period is? What are the exact dates that the Christmas period is? Do we know what uh, uh, performance means? So the winter range perform, what is it? Sales, revenue, profit? Well, what are we exactly looking at? So in my example of cooking, for example, when I've been asked to make a meal for the kids, I've got history. So I know context and stuff. And I know that the kids love uh, uh, pasta and, and I normally make a chicken pasta bake. Um, so, so the way I'm going to answer this business question is to cook a chicken pasta bake. So in your, in your example, you would, or in the example of the business question, um, you would go and find out um, you know, what the Christmas period is, what performance actually looked like. Is it sales? Is it quantity sold? Is it year on year? Whatever it is, okay? So that's what you need to do um, in, in your query, okay? So imagine um, that this kitchen is your data warehouse, okay? So, and these cupboards are your tables, okay, in, in your data warehouse. Now, if you know where to go for your data to answer your business question, you just go to your relevant table, open it up, and, you know, get your data or query your data and get it. So um, because this is my kitchen, I know where exactly to go to get my ingredients to make my children's uh, chicken pasta bake. Okay, so uh, I, I know which cupboards to go to and uh, where to get uh, the relevant ingredients. Okay, so I've queried my tables and I've got the relevant data. So these are the main data sets that I need. Okay, so I've got my pasta, I've got my chicken and I've got the pasta bake sauce. So they're sort of the um, uh, raw ingredients uh, that I need. Okay, so apart from the main data, I might need other data sources. So I might need, you know, other lookup tables. For example, if I've got a, a product database of the winter range and I need to find out, you know, it's just a, a key and I need to find out what the labels are. Um, then there's other uh, data sets that I need. So in my example of cooking, I've got other things that I need. So I need a, a pan of boiling water to bake, uh, boil my pasta. I've also got a, a pan to cook my chicken in. Okay, now sometimes when you extract data from your tables, what you might find is that some of the data is actually calculated metrics or derived metrics. So they've used, someone has used other metrics to create this metric. Um, so an example might be profit, okay? So what you might find is that, um, you know, someone's actually created a, a, a variable called profit. Now you need to know how that's calculated because you might think it's simply income minus uh, cost, right, to create your uh, profit. But really check with the business, check. Um, as I mentioned in another video, uh, another video, you need to really validate uh, your, your numbers. So make sure you check um, how they uh, calculated the profit value, okay? So for example, in, in my example of cooking a pasta bake, past, the pasta bake sauce is actually a calculated, or is already a created product. Now, for me, it's quite easy because I can just check what's in there through the ingredients. And sometimes what you might have in your... Um, uh, uh, business is actually documentation of how the, all the metrics are created. So if you do have where how all the metrics are created, that's brilliant. Um, but if you don't, then do go and ask. Okay, now you've extracted your data and in theory, you could actually give that to the business. You could say, here you are, and I could actually give this to my kid and say, there you go. These are the core components of a pasta bake, chicken pasta bake, uh, enjoy. Okay, they would not be impressed, and I'm sure, uh, same with your business. The business would not be impressed if you just gave them the raw data, okay? So the next thing to do is to clean, transform, um, and analyze the data to present, to, to put it in a format that the business can understand. Okay, so this is the part when you're actually analyzing the data. So, you know, I've cleansed my data, which is enough to really clean my chicken, um, and I've put the pasta in the, in the pan. Um, so what you're doing is you're analyzing the data now. You're trying to get meaning out of the raw data. So you don't want to present the business with raw data. You want to create something from that raw data. Now, that could be charts and graphs or tables. But whatever it is, you want to create something that's more meaningful for the business. So here what I'm doing, I'm cooking my uh, raw ingredients so that actually it's more edible than providing the raw ingredients to the kids as a meal. Okay, so once we've analyzed the data, or in my case, once I've cooked everything, you can see actually, um, you know, I could present this food like this to them, and you know, it's edible. Um, they may not still be impressed. 
uh, and want to eat it. Um, but you know, it, it's ready. And same with your data. Once you put it into graphs and charts, you can actually give those graphs and charts to the business, the tables, and say to them, there you go, there's the, there's the data. But it's probably not going to help them answer the business question because what they're looking for is, okay, well, what does this tell me? It does this tell me that the winter range performed well over Christmas. Okay, so what I've decided is, right, okay, I'm not going to give my graphs and charts in the format that they are. I'm going to take them off the pans and put them on a dish, okay? And that's probably the equivalent of taking them out of Excel or R or Python or whatever, or even SQL tables and put them into PowerPoint or into a, a Tableau uh, dashboard or even in a Power BI uh, dashboard. So what I've decided, I've put it like that. And then what I thought, well, okay, if it's in PowerPoint, let's say my, my example's in PowerPoint. So I've put my pasta bacon in its dish um, so that it it's a bit better to present rather than just present it in pots and pans which is like the raw tables and graphs and charts I put it onto a, a dish which is my you know like I said it's my PowerPoint um, and then I decide you know what I'm going to add, add a bit of context around it because um, what I might do is show the business look um, this is the context of how the winter range performed uh, sorry how the, yeah, how the winter range performed over the Christmas period um, compared to potentially last year or compared to other ranges and so this could be like the cheese so I'm just going to put a nice healthy a coating of cheese which hopefully will make the presentation more meaningful and in in the case of my kids it will um, mean that they um, you know like the pasta bake more and enjoy it um, I know they love cheese so hopefully putting cheese on is good okay so this is the final presentation or my final dish hopefully uh, the kids will find this more appealing than the raw ingredients that I had before uh, that I could have given to them uh, or the raw data in your case. Um, but yeah, but putting it nicely together in a presentation hopefully will mean that uh, the business is more likely to uh, listen to your analysis or your findings uh, and take notes. Same hopefully with this, uh, by presenting it better than just giving them the, the sauce, the chicken, the pasta separately, my kids are more likely to enjoy their meal. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. It was fun to make and I hope you enjoyed watching it as well. Hope to give you an idea of what data, what in, what's involved in data analysis. So, you know, like I said, extracting the raw data from your data warehouse, going to the right tables um, to, to get the right data. Um, and then, you know, analyzing, processing, cleansing the data, whatever you need to do to answer the business question. And like I said, you could just give them the, the um, charts and tables and graphs for them to interpret themselves. Or you could put it together just like I did with my pasta bait, put it together in a nice dish so it's better to present and hopefully you, you're more likely to get buy-in. Well, thank you for listening to my video. Um, please do comment or question below and I'm always happy to answer questions and comments uh, in the comment section. Uh, please do like my video and of course, please do subscribe to my channel and look out for more videos that I'll be coming up with about the world of data.